and welcome to Oster Volder Airport everyone this is an Orbix supplied airport it's free and it's really worth going to have a look and it's such magnificent scenery so if you're new here please feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you're returning then thanks for coming back let's go flying welcome to let's fly VFR all in next plane 11 Props, jets, and much more. All done in real world weather. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you. So, here we are in our Robin. I'm sure you're not getting too bored of me flying around in this. Just love having it available. So, where are we? We're Osterwald Airport which is a regional airport located on the western side of Norway. So as you would expect, Norway is quite mountainous and uh, a lot of water and fjords and it's just beautiful. So this one actually features about 1,070 metres of asphalt runway. It's a line 06 to 24, surrounded by some magnificent scenery. Now I have done zoom level 19 around the airport so uh, you can see the original and you can see what it looks like now so and we have a little fly down so you can have a look at all the buildings and what the guys of Orbix have put here for us it's looking pretty good isn't it so this is the airport end I can't find any way of getting down the other end at the moment so you can park it here, you can see the robin just to the left, but let's uh, continue looking over. So there's plenty of cars and trees, and uh, you want to come and have a game of football, then there's a football oval there waiting for you. Let's get out and get this thing in the air and have a quick look around the local area. And then we'll come back and do a landing, eh? And get us all powered up, mid-level on the flat front. So what have they done here? The airport's surrounded by Windir Windero, who operates several flights out of here. Windero must be a local airline, guys. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the area. They fly Dash 8, apparently. The route is normally over to Oslo, so I'm thinking about doing a flight over that way. So if you uh, you think that's a good idea, fly in some real world weather, you might have to avoid some clouds, let me know, and i still got to sort out my, uh, my steering. That's water, it had been raining, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I turned the, turned the bad weather off just so you could see it a little bit better. So as we climb out in the Robin, so this is from 2-4, we're going to go out around, show you uh, down the fjords and then come back and have a land on the same runway. So it doesn't look quite so bad from inside, does it? nosing up and heading out into the sun all the ground textures here have also been hand created uh, to match the and the building so uh, Tom Nudson provided the photographs and uh, contributed to getting this airport built so we're gonna just climb out a little bit further put our flaps up we'll do a turn left and just go down the uh, down the lake a little the actual town of Volta is down to the left so we're just going to fly down to the the town itself and then we'll uh, whip ourselves back here for a quick landing don't forget to subscribe Now, if there's any other airport and stuff you guys would like me to fly to or check out, um, I'm going to do some flights to one of the subscribers airports that he's been doing around the United States. So that's something that's coming up very soon. So I'll be doing John's airport. He's certainly uh, getting excited about building lots of airports at the moment. Nice young bloke doing his thing for X-Plane community. Doesn't the uh, Zoom 19 look fantastic? So this is the town down here on the left. So we'll just find our way down here. 
give you a bit of a feel for the local area. I'm sure if you get some low clarity, you're going to have some trouble getting around as a VFR pilot because you're going to be uh, hitting down the valleys, which uh, also might be quite a lot of fun. So you can see the town. They just pause for a moment so you can have a look. Could do with some buildings and stuff on it. That'd be really great. So here's the approach. Let's get ourselves back on the ground. Nose up, just flaring. A little bit of an overflare. But done fine. And we're back on runway 2-4. Let's get ourselves back in. Got the brakes done. Okay, let's pull ourselves up and get off this runway. So it doesn't look nice on the way in from the cockpit. Just a little high, you've seen the two white lights. Got some nice effects there, got hedges and some fences and things around. Not much wind, the old wind socks are just hanging limply in the breeze. Nose up and a little second go at that one. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed your little view of Orstavolda Airport, which is ENOV here in Norway. So feel free to go out and download from Orbix. They have a couple of free ones in there for you to have a bit of a look at. And make sure you download the FTX to make sure you install it correctly. A lesson learned by me on the last one at the Oceano Airport. But nice airports, free, really great area. And I think I'll be doing a flight from here to the other free airport, which is uh, some way away, but it's still here in Norway. So that's right on the horizon. So quick look at the airport close up. Got a few uh, bits and pieces lying around there. If you want to get towed out, we've got the tractor there, but it's, uh, it's nice and the scenery is just magnificent as well. So get out there, download it. I'll put a link down in the description for you get you straight across to Orbix and if you like what they do then feel free to buy some of the non-free wear stuff they have available for some magnificent products so till next time and our next flight I hope you enjoyed this one if you uh, have got any suggestions and or comments please feel free to comment in down below love to hear from you and uh, until next time We'll catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR. Let's make it as real as possible every fly. Subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Look forward to hearing from you.